Hello everyone, Sergeant274, back with part 8 of my beginner's guide for new Dark Souls players. Last time, we uh, pretty much cleared out the chapel up in the Undead Parish. We took out the Chandler, we uh, um, freed Lawtrek, and then we ended up pushing Lawtrek off the edge of the cliff down there uh, to get his ring, <coughs> which is the Ring of Favor and Protection. We equipped that. And then we went back to the Undead Asylum in an attempt to get uh, the Black Knight Sword, uh, which we were able to get. Um, and now before going and taking on the Gargoyles, um, we're going to go and go a little bit out of the um, normal path um, and go take on Pinwheel. Now, I haven't done this in a while, so I may not look like I know exactly... Um, <coughs> what I'm doing, but this is beginner's walkthrough, so you can come fail with me, um, but pinwheel is pretty easy, it's just you, there's a couple shortcuts you can take to get to him also, that are very simple, that if you can block with a shield and roll, you can get to um, uh, pinwheel very easily, uh, basically bypassing almost everything here in the catacombs. So first thing you want to do is come down here, these skeletons, <coughs> well, run by them, because these skeletons, I believe, will come back to life um, once you, you kill them. Same with the ones down here. You have to kill uh, the necromancers or grave keepers, whatever you want to call them. Um, and we have to kill the first one down here. So what I have on now is the, uh, you can't really see it, but it's a dragon. Hello. Hello, sir. Let's see. Uh. How many hits the Drake Sword takes to kill these guys? So four. And you can see he didn't die there. He will come back to life because we did not kill the Necromancer. I was trying to say though, we have the uh, Dragon Crest Shield on because it will help with uh, blocking the fire attacks of the Gravekeeper down here and also Pinwheel. So first thing, run in here. All right, just run in here. Then you'll see this guy. Lock on, and you can block it if you have a. Uh, the dragon crush shield pretty easily two hand the drake sword and there you go also the drake sword helps out with a little fire resistance as well <coughs> but now that you have him dead push the lever in come to this bonfire I would suggest resting here because it's not too difficult to get back up to fire link it's just a quick jaunt up the stairs there <coughs> I would advise leveling up to at this point. Now we have the Drake Sword, which we're going to use for now. Um, I'll show off some other weapons too once I give them to plus five. Um, but for now, we have what we need to use the Black Knight Sword, and uh, I'm not going to put too much more um, into this strength and dex quality build of mine right now. I'm going to more so focus on endurance, and then you know, a new player. I said we're going to level endurance and vitality at least to begin with, um, equally, so we'll put one back into Vitality here. <coughs> Alright, key for uh, this part, to get to Pinwheel um, and beating him early on um, for a beginner is to reverse Halloween. Now you need humanity up there, see how I have two in the upper left of my screen. <coughs> Excuse me. If I didn't have humanity up there, I would go in here and just pop a humanity. So that's really all you need. And then what you do is reverse hollowing here. And we need to do this because we're going to summon Paladin Leroy to uh, help us out. So we do that. And then, again, it's going to be run. Just run. That's all you have to do. You don't have to fight everyone in this game right away. <coughs> so when you come up here, block. Roll by him. Another one comes at you. Roll out the way, just like that. And then come right over here, jump down, and then roll. And there you go. You will not die from that. No matter how much... Oh, crap. This guy decided to, he's somewhat dead. So touch your summon sign here. Heal up. <coughs> he will jump down. Whoa, that wasn't supposed to happen. That not supposed to happen. Alright, so if that happens to you, just run and hope to God you don't get 
All right, so that was a uh, <coughs> that was how to do it, but not I was not very good at finishing right there. <laughs> that was a uh, yeah. So now you can see my souls and my humanity are now down at the bottom of that pit. <sighs> so that's how you do it. It just had an unexpected um, explosion, knock me off the ledge there. So here we go again. All right, so this is what you do if you don't have humanity. Pop one, get it active up there. Go and reverse Halloween. <coughs> All right. Now we'll try this again, and hopefully, I've never actually had that happen. Um, one of those explodey things explode and knock me off the ledge there. I don't know why it did that. Again, this first guy, block. Second guy. Well, actually, you can roll between them now because they're not doing anything except hitting me like that and going to kill me. All right, now I have to heal. That did not go as planned. And roll, roll, we're safe. Heal up twice. Summon Mr. Leroy. Pick up our souls. Once Leroy gets here, you're pretty much uh, golden here. Alright. <coughs> so you can have him help defeat these bone uh, bone shield guys if you want. I'm not. We're just going to go straight for our goal right now, which is pinwheel. So just run for it. And don't worry, Leroy will follow you <laughs> eventually. Enter the fog gate or the white light, and you do not fight pinwheel right away. So basically sit here, wait for Leroy's butt to get over here, there he comes, he might actually get you some free souls here and uh, attack through the, the white light here and uh, kill some of those um, bone shield skeletons, bone wheel, whatever you want to call them. Alright, come on Leroy, enough of that, enough, Leroy, hey buddy. Alright, so now you're ready to take on Pinwheel. So you can see it's pretty easy to get down here. It may take a couple um, practice runs. You may want to, you know, practice getting down there uh, before you pop a humanity. and Because uh, you don't want to waste one. Anyways, here we are. Let's go take on Pinwheel. <coughs> so this is regarded by most as the easiest boss in the game basically what pinwheel does is he shoots fire at you and he clones himself and you can have I don't know how many you can have at a time four or five other images of pinwheel and you have to basically um, find which one is the real pinwheel and attack and kill him anyways first thing to do can run up to him with your shield see there he clones himself and you just got oh my gosh I'm not gonna die to pinwheel you have time to heal though don't worry about it and basically Leroy is gonna help you out a lot you see how much damage he did with his grant there two hits from his grant with a little help from you and there goes pinwheel the reason we did this is because um, now we have the right of kindling and the right of kindling basically means that we can kindle our Estus flasks beyond the normal amount of 10 now we can get up to 20 and you also get a mask he drops one of three masks the mask of the father which helps equipment load a mask of the mother which slightly raises your um, <coughs> health or max health and the best one which we got we're getting lucky in this playthrough. Uh, the Mask of the Child, which we will probably be equipping right now, which gives us stamina regen. You can see up there the, the arrows on the upper left there. Those three arrows indicate that we <coughs> excuse me, now have stamina regen, or it regens faster. One thing I forgot to mention. Um, well, actually, you know what? You get a homeward bone, I believe, for killing him. So, yeah. Basically, we took out the boss of the catacombs, and down here is the um, Tomb of the Giants. You can go down there now, but you will die. 
I mean, there's you will most likely die, and especially without being able to warp out of there, you don't want to do that because then you'll have to climb back up. So that would not be good. But after you beat um, Pinwheel, you can see there's a soul over there. Don't worry about it. There's something over there. I don't even know what that is. But come over here, follow the path I just did before Homeward Boning, and pick up this soul right here because it's Soul of a Proud Knight. That's pretty good. Now you can see we have 15,000 souls. With these 15,000 souls, we can farm a little bit and get the uh, Crest of Artorias, which will allow us access to the Forest and the Forest Hunter Covenant. Or we can use that to buy um, Titanite Shards to upgrade, uh, you know, like the Halberd or the Claymore to plus 5. Anyways, before I warp out of here, really quickly... There is a black knight on the other side of uh, the bottom of this chasm here. He is a black knight that has the black knight great axe, which and probably is my favorite black knight weapon based on looks, and then uh, at least for PVE, the move set and damage. It's probably my favorite black knight weapon. The problem is, in order to get to him, you have to go through these guys. So... For this, you know, let's see how many attacks it takes with the Drake Sword to kill one of these guys. So we're going to pull this guy into us. Really, dude? Oh, there's two of them sitting right there. I thought I had my, uh... Where's my bow at? I'm going to try pulling one in and hopefully I don't die. You don't want to do this, honestly, um, if you're a beginner, because you, you have 15,000 souls, and if you die here, you don't want to lose them. Okay, everyone, really quickly, if you want to see me take on the Bone Shield Skeletons here, um, and then the Black Knight, then watch you know the next four minutes, which I have fast-forwarded. Um, or if you don't care about that because you're not going to do it, then fast forward to about four minutes from now and um, you will see me homeward bone out of here and uh, the completion of the video. Alright, thanks. And these guys can kill you pretty easily. Okay, so they take two shots of the Drake Sword. That's not bad. Just be careful. They can gang up on you. And when that happens, bad things uh, result. And what's his face? Pal and Lee were there. They didn't help us out by killing many, if any, of these guys. So the key here is fight them one at a time. But there's a lot of them. So that, see, you can see the Black Knight up there. He's right there. Unfortunately, we can't pull him, but I'll try pulling these guys one at a time here. Uh, shoot. <coughs> okay, we got one. Key, these guys block and sidestep. Their attack really does damage to your stamina. Like that. <laughs> like your block and your, uh... You can't just sit there and block them without a high stability shield. And you can see their attacks are quick and very, uh, damaging. Okay, so we're just going to try this out here. This could be the, one of the most foolish things I've done. But as a beginner, alright, see, we pull two now. Or three. Uh, let's go back here. And just to assure that we get this guy. Whoops, I missed him. There we go. At least we'll get him. Alright, now come back. Block now. Two shots. Yeah, make sure you kind of run after him there, because if you let him get back up and start rolling again, it's uh, you see what happened last time. Alright, now we should have two guys getting close here. We're going to try for that guy. Alright, we got one. That's what we want. We want one at a time. Like I said, you don't have to do this if you're not confident, um, but this is the way to do it pretty easily. Assuming you don't make a mistake, you know, like this is going to be here. Just got him in time. You can also, these guys drop their, their shield. This is actually a shield, the bone wheel shield. Um, there's potential for them to drop it. Alright, so now, I think, I don't know if there's any more over there, but we're going to take out, we're going to get this guy over here. And then we'll slowly creep up there. And, um, See if we can't take out the Black Knight. There's another one way over there. I just saw that. There we go. So two shots. Make sure you two-hand it um, when you get close to him because it'll two-shot him. All right. Now I know there's one more guy over there because I saw him. I don't know where he went though. Uh, where are you, sir? That's the knight up there. I just don't want the knight coming down and me getting surprised by. One of those shield guys. I honestly don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. He's way over there. 
Now these guys are coming at me. Knight hasn't seen me yet. You can see there's another uh, Gravekeeper in there. <coughs> Alright, now he, he's coming after me, so safest thing to do, pull him over here where you have walls that he runs into. <coughs> That's worked for us so far, and we'll continue that strategy. Alright, so here he comes. Make sure when he comes you block and try to sidestep him. And then go after him. One, two. There you go, he's dead. Alright, now what we're going to do is keep our fingers crossed that we get the um, Black Knight Great Axe that he can drop. Also, with this guy, I am not going to parry him. You can parry his attacks, but I'm going to show you how to backstab um, Black Knights. At least I think I'm going to. This could end up completely um, horrible and me die. A horrible death here, but... <coughs> Alright, here he comes. Come on, buddy. Come on, little Black Knight. Alright, yeah, this guy can hurt you. This, his, his weapon is really good. We do not want... Here, you can see that. So just go around him. Don't do that. Just keep circling. And you have to let go of the button, the, you know, the strafing button or the directional button, to perform a backstab. And don't keep your shield up either. You can't backstab with your shield up. But you can kind of chain stab him here. Oh, crap. All right, we're going to get out of here right now, only because I have those two skull things coming, plus the Gravekeeper. So this is not looking good for us. But he just took one shot. Uh, we did not get the Black Knight Great Axe. So that's a, that's a risk you take um, for doing it that way. We didn't get it. Now, unfortunately, uh, when I go through the catacombs later, this guy's going to be dead because... You know what? No, I won't kill him now. We'll go through the catacombs the right way later. Alright, so now what we're going to do basically is go into our inventory here, pop a Homeward Bone, Homeward Bone takes you back to the last bonfire which you rested at, which will be here, I'm going to repair my equipment, and with these souls, instead of leveling up right now, I would advise going back to Andre and getting the Crest of Artorias. Alright, now to get back out of here. Again, run. Especially in this situation, because you have a lot of souls and you don't really want to die and have to risk not being able to get them back. This guy here. You can knock him over the edge if you want. Or he'll knock himself over the edge. Now be careful up here. Remember, it takes four shots. Now they will die because you killed the Gravekeeper there. There's a guy who decided that he wanted to come up here. <laughs> Watch out, their weapons will inflict, ble will inflict bleed on you. Oh boy. That will kill him, actually. No, it won't kill him, but it's close. Ooh, man. This is going a lot worse than uh, I had... Usually, I don't know what I did. I messed up here a little bit, I guess. I, that one skeleton came down, so I was kind of forced to attack him. Just keep your shield up, and you'll be okay. Don't be worried about using Estus Flax, because you're just going straight back up the Firelink Shrine here. So there you go. That was a little more eventful, but keep your shield up, and um, when you don't need to block, release it, so your stamina will regen and you can um, attack. If your stamina is gone, or very low, you can't do many attacks in a row, so you want to always make sure that your stamina is up. Alright, so here we are, we're back at Firelink, and that's pretty much it. And let me show you real quick the benefit of killing Pinwheel early on like that. Like I said, that took a, a relatively short amount of period of time. Um, it took a little longer because I tried to get the Black Knight Great Axe, but I failed. That's one way you can get try to get it very early on in the game, though. Um, there's a couple other weapons down there that we didn't get that you can try to get early. The Gravelord Sword and the Great Scythe, but uh, we'll come back for those later. Alright, so basically what you do here is when you are in human form... You have two active humanity up there, and you can kindle this bad boy to a plus 20 now. And that should help out immensely for beginners um, trying to get through, you know, some areas of the game, uh, like the chapel, the gargoyles, um, also Blight Town, etc., etc. So, alright. My girl's looking ugly, but um, she's progressing good. 
So what I'm going to do next time is meet you over by Andre. We'll go purchase the Crest of Artorias. Um, we'll probably go join the Forest Hunters. And then we'll level up, <laughs> excuse me, level up our Claymore and, um, what do you call it, Helper to plus five. So we have a couple different options for the Gargoyles who we will then go after. Alright, thanks for watching. See everyone next time. Goodbye.